Basketball Jones. Yo, it's your brother Van Silk. Not in my house. My people's down in B-Mall. Set it off. Little need them in them. Yo, check this out. I don't really like to get into talking about sports because I'm not really fascinated by sports today because players are not on the same team. Players move around too much. High salary. Players taking, you know, sitting out three and four games with all the money they made. And they didn't, they didn't like back in the day when I was growing up. So this is what I'm going to do. First of all, I definitely want to talk about Michael Jordan and Isaiah Thomas. Y'all brothers, please, for the sake of the fans, just have a one-on-one, -on -one, man. We only do this one time in life. We only get one go round in life. There's no do always when we're not here no more. And I think with all the competitiveness that y'all had back in the days, man. Yeah, we know Isaiah Thomas walked off the court before y'all, when y'all finally won the playoffs and all that, and then he, him not being on the dream team. Look, let bygones be bygones, man. Because you know what? Y'all really are friends. Y'all just may not associate with each other. But before we get into that, I'm going to give you my 15 all-time favorite NBA players. Retired. They cannot be in the NBA. They have to be retired. So I'm going to start off right now with my man, Walt Clyde Frazier. Frazier. That's my, that was my idol in the NBA. Dr. J. Yes, the great Dr. Julius Irving. Earl the Pearl Monroe. Boy, he used to give the Nixon Frazier a headache when he was playing for the Baltimore Bullets. And the late, great Kobe Bryant. Man, this is just my team with along as Michael Jordan. Can you see that picture right there so far? Hope so. Now, the next five I got for my top 15, Larry Bird, Carl Malone, Charles Barkley, George Gervin, the Iceman, and Shaquille O'Neal. Big Shaq Daddy. And the last five, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Nate Archibald for my projects and Patterson Projects. Dwayne Wade, Kevin McHale, and George McGinnis. And the captain of the team, Magic Johnson. That's it. My 15 plus one. Everybody get 15 plus one. But now, let's get out of this and let's get into this. I like the NBA players. I have my favorite plays. I don't really have a favorite team no more. You know, uh, once Jordan retired, you know, I love Kobe. And then, you know, was, I just been liking various players amongst the years until Dwayne Wade came in the league. Big Dwayne Wade fan. D Wade. And I became a LeBron fan when he came to Miami Heat. I've been lost a long time ago as a Knicks fan ever since they traded Walk Frazier to the Cleveland Cavaliers. But what I want to say, there's a brotherhood in the NBA. And I think Michael Jordan, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, and Isaiah Thomas, I don't care who do the interview. Y'all need to sit down and just have that one-on-one -on -one conversation. It's good for basketball, it's good for the fans, and it's good for the history to know that two brothers, both 60, hitting, the, hitting 60 years old or whatever, that y'all can sit down and have a friendly conversation and laugh about it. You know, that's all I'm asking. Now, a lot of y'all fans might have your own opinion. Your opinion is definitely invited. This is just my opinion. I feel that Michael Jordan and Isaiah Thomas should have a sit down one-on-one. -on -one. And actually, I'm going to pick three people that should hold that conversation. Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, and Barack Obama. But I picked you my 15 top NBA players and my captain of the team. 16. This your brother Van Soak, not in my house. Little basketball shortcuts. Basketball Jones, I'm out. Not in my house.